Our objective for this lesson is to be able to expand brackets of the form ax plus b times cx plus d. We're also going to have a look at what to do if you want to expand brackets where there's more than two terms in one of the brackets. So our first example is we're going to expand x plus 1 times x plus 3. Now to help with this, we're going to think of it like the area of a rectangle. So imagine you've got a rectangle of width x plus 1 and length x plus 3. Now obviously the area of a rectangle is length times width, so the area of this rectangle is going to be the answer that we are looking for for our question. Let's split the rectangle up into separate parts. So you can see at the top we've split x plus 3 into x and 3 ones, and on the side we have split x plus 1 into x and 1, giving us a collection of squares and rectangles. We're now going to find the areas of these separate squares and rectangles, which we can then bring together to give us the full area. So the top left square has got length x and width x, so its area must be x squared. The top right hand rectangles have got width of 1 and length of x, so their areas must all be x. The same for the bottom left, 1 by x is x, and the three squares at the bottom right are all 1 by 1, so they all have an area of 1. Now if we bring together all of these that we've just found, we've got x squared plus 4x plus 3, that's the area of the rectangle, so it must be the answer to our question. Now we don't want to have to draw a diagram every time we're going to expand brackets. So let's look at the same example. Let's see how we can do it without the diagram. Basically all we've got to think about is making sure that we multiply everything in the first bracket by everything in the second bracket. So we're going to take the x in the first bracket and multiply by the x in the second bracket to give us x squared. We're then going to multiply that first x by the 3 in the second bracket, so we've got plus 3x. Now we're going to do 1 times x is x, and 1 times 3 is 3. So note how everything in that first bracket has been paired up with everything in the second bracket. We haven't missed anything out, we haven't repeated anything. Our final step is just to simplify our answer. Well, we've got a 3x and an x there, so let's bring them together. An answer of x squared plus 4x plus 3, which is the same as we got by using the picture. Now the same thing works even if there are negative numbers in there. So this example we've got x plus 4 times x minus 2. So again, we'll take the first x, multiply it by the x in the second bracket to give us x squared. Then we're going to take the x times by the negative 2, giving us minus 2x. 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times by negative 2 is minus 8. Again, make sure you simplify your answer. We'll bring the x's together to give us a final answer of x squared plus 2x minus 8. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. The answers will appear shortly. What about if one of the x's has its own coefficient? So for example, if we want to do 2x plus 1 times by x plus 4, we're going to start off in exactly the same way. So 2x times by x gives us 2x squared. 2x times 4 gives us 8x. 1 times x is x. And 1 times 4 is 4. Again, simplifying that will give us 2x squared plus 9x plus 4. Now if one or both of your brackets have got more than two terms, the method is exactly the same. It just gets a little bit fiddlier because there are more things to deal with. This is where the arrows come in really handy to help us keep track of what we have done. So again, we're going to multiply everything in that first bracket by everything in the second bracket. So 3x times x 
is 3x squared. 3x times 6 is 18x. y times x is xy. And y times 6 is 6y. Finally, 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times by the 6 gives us 12. So again, we've multiplied everything in that first bracket by everything in the second bracket. Then we're just going to check if we can simplify anything. Well, we've got two coefficients of x there. So let's bring them together. 3x squared plus 20x plus 6y plus xy plus 12 is our final answer. Pause the video and have a go at these further practice questions. Answers will appear at the end.